Hello everyone, welcome to A plus BI. This channel is all about complex numbers and in this video we're going to be solving a nice homemade equation with complex numbers. We have z plus z multiplied by 9 minus 2i divided by z plus 1 equals 10 and we're going to be solving for z values. I said values but does that mean there's more than one? Is there any solutions? Let's find out. Now at the bottom, like at the denominator, if we did not have z plus 1, but instead we have something, something like 1 plus i or 2 plus 3i, like a complex number, then we could easily factor out a z, right? We could kind of write it as some complex number equals 10, and then we could simplify this and divide 10 by that, and we would get the z right away. But that would be too easy, don't you think? That would be an exercise, but we're after problems. So this is going to be a problem. What problem number is that? I don't know. You'll see it in the title. Now, probably a little over 400 maybe, something like that. It's, it hasn't been two years. Oh, by the way, cyber math shorts or shorts of cyber. It's been two years. So thank you for the support if you are following that channel. And I also have another channel, which is my first channel, cyber math, where I do problems on algebra and number theory. And this channel is about complex numbers. And if you're new to complex numbers, go ahead and check out the lecture videos. So how do we solve this problem? Let's go ahead and approach it from two different angles. First method. This was not my initial plan, but I'll talk about it in the second method, okay? First method is just kind of brute force C. We'll make a common denominator or actually multiply everything by Z plus one. Let's do that because that'll eliminate all the fractions. That's gonna give us something nice like this, okay? Let's distribute z squared plus z plus 9z. Sorry, that's how I write my z's, so they don't look like twos. And then minus 2iz equals 10z, gen z, right? 10, okay. Now let's go ahead and simplify, can we? Okay, 9z plus 10z, okay, 9z plus z is 10z, so this cancels out. I got stuck on gen z. And then from here, we should get a simple, simple quadratic equation. Let's bring the 10 over here, and there you go. Okay, since this is quadratic, let's use the quadratic formula. Kind of makes sense, right? z equals negative b plus minus the square root of b squared, which is 4i squared, which is negative 4, minus 4ac, that's plus 40, nice, divided by 2. That is a 36, that's going to be 6 with the plus minus. So we're going to get something like this, 2i plus minus 6 divided by 2. And of course you can write it as i plus minus 3, i plus minus 3, that's it. <laughs> There's no division. So those are the values. In other words, z can be written as 3 plus i, or z can be written as negative 3 plus i, okay? So do these solutions satisfy the original problem? You can definitely go ahead and check out, okay? Cool, cool. Now, let's go ahead and see if we can solve this problem a little differently. And that's going to be interesting. You know why? Because that'll show you two things. Can we get the same solutions by using the second method? And if you don't, why is that happening? Something to think about. So I'll make you think. And the second is, remember I told you that I was gonna, that wasn't my initial plan. What was my initial plan? Let's talk about it now, okay? So here's the second method. But remember these values, okay? When we finish second method, we're gonna need to go back and check. So with the second method, first let me write the original problem. Not z plus i, z plus 1. And that is equal to 10. Nice. So for my second method, I'm going to use substitution. Do you know why? Because I can't. That's why. But not only that, there's a very good reason. This is going to give you a system of equations. A system? Are you sure about that? Well, first of all, let's replace that thing in the bubble, circle, whatever, with w. So we get z plus z w equals 10. Nice. 
But then let's think about the meaning of this new name. We call that whole thing W, so what does that mean? What does that imply? Let's find out. Set it equal to W, cross multiply, you get ZW plus W equals nine minus two I. Uh-oh, that gave me another equation. There you go. This is your system. Now, let me tell you about my initial plan. My initial plan was to present this problem as a system of equations. But guess what? Systems are not very popular. I don't know why. People don't like systems. They're not that popular. And I want my videos to be popular for obvious reasons, right? So I turned it into a single equation. Did you like it? I hope you did. Now let's go ahead and solve this system. By the way, you don't have to turn it into a system because the first method just talks about that, right? So how do we solve this as a system? Let's rewrite those equations because they're not aligned. And I kind of want to write it like this. So there's a couple ways to go about it. By the way, let me go back to the first method if you allow me to. Let's just put a pause here because I forgot to talk about one thing. At this point, you could also do this. Uh, you could complete the square. Leave the 10 on the right hand side. Notice that this could be turned into z minus i squared, but i squared is negative one. So you can subtract one from both sides, which is i squared. And now write this as z minus i squared, and then the same solutions will follow. But it's more interesting because we are completing the square. Yay, it's a better method, right? Where does the quadratic formula come from? From completing the square, yay. Okay, so anyways, I just wanted to talk about it real quick. And now, to be able to solve the system, we have a couple different ideas. Hmm. One method I can think of is, we'll probably eliminate ZW. Why not? Let's negate the second equation. Negate everything, right? Which means we're subtracting them. ZW cancels out. We get Z minus W equals hmm, 1 plus 2i. Good. How does this help? Well, I was hoping to get z plus w from here, obviously, but that didn't work. But that's okay. We can do the following. We can isolate z and write it as w plus 1 plus 2i. And then we can go ahead and substitute into one of these equations. Like the top one. Top one looks a little friendlier, right? And that's going to give us a quadratic equation and we can solve it. But since we're looking for z... Doesn't it make sense to isolate W maybe? Yes, but here's another way to approach it. Let me show you different approaches and you can hopefully finish up, right? Because I'll probably leave it undone, okay? The, oh, was it nine minus two I? Yeah, I think so. So another idea is why not, hmm, we could probably factor out something. I was, I was hoping to divide these, but I don't think that's going to help. So maybe something like this. I can go ahead and factor out a z. That's going to give me w plus 1. And factor out a w. That's going to give me z plus 1. If I divide it, the ratios wouldn't really help me. Again, my only option is isolate w and substitute. But that should turn us to the same quadratic equation as before. The question is, though, the values that we get from here, z and w, are they going to coincide with the first method? That's for you to find out. Anyways, I show you the method. Hopefully, you can take it from here because this brings us to the end of this video. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I'll see you next time with another video. Until then, be safe, take care, and bye-bye.